Hello today's video we have the following content. CCTV's premiere is coming. 40 episodes of political and legal drama are coming. Luo Jin leads 9 powerful actors, with the potential of being a dark horse. The recent domestic drama market is very lively, with new dramas being launched one after another, which is dazzling. After the finale of Celebrating Union 2, Yu Zhang's female power revenge drama Mo Yu Yun Jian became popular again. The most popular TV shows are Rose Story broadcasted by CCTV8 and Hai Tian Shuang Yun broadcasted by CCTV1. However, with the divorce of Wang Yimi in Fang Zhuan and the exit of Huo Jian who is character, Rose Story is also coming to an end. So the question is, which new drama will continue to dominate the audience's remote control next? Just now, the 40-episode political and legal drama execution judge was officially announced and will be broadcast on June 27, following Rose Story in the prime time of CCTV 8. The lineup is worth watching, and Jian plus Luo Jin, old partners are on stage, plus Sang Zilin, Ding Jitli, Serena, Wang Tonghu, Fang Zibin and other powerful actors. The subject matter is directly aimed at an important group in the court that is easily overlooked by ordinary people, the Execution Bureau. Next, let's take a look at what kind of hard dish this execution judge will serve to the audience 1. Story, taking execution judge as the entry point, focusing on the last kilometer to achieve fairness and justice. Back off, back off. I was attracted by this scene of Luo Jin in the first trailer. To describe this drama in one word, it is positive. The bright words the last kilometer to achieve fairness and justice on the poster make people expect it. The story focuses on a special group in the court executive judges, who are responsible for executing court judgments, arbitration awards, notarized debt instruments and related property preservation, inspection and control and other matters. It is also the last kilometer to achieve fairness and justice. Anything is always the most difficult to execute. Execution judges about how the execution judges represented by Keelan will deal with the battle of difficult execution. Combined with the existing materials, there are three highlights in the plot that are enough to catch the audience's attention. First, the plot is highly dramatic. The execution of the court can be said to be a war without gunpowder. The execution personnel will inevitably face various difficulties such as resistance and public opinion pressure. The difficulty and workload in the process are unimaginable. What needs to be faced is not only the old debtors, but also the extreme persons subject to execution, who will resort to deception, threats to judges and other means to refuse to perform. Just from the preview, we can see that the tense and exciting atmosphere and fascinating suspense are quickly created. At the beginning, there is a killing. The court personnel are fully armed and go straight to Huang Long. Keelan shouted, Don't move. It is obvious that the execution personnel and the person subject to execution are fighting wits and courage. Looking at the picture, there is no shortage of confrontation, arrest, pursuit, and explosion. Looking at the plot, a demolition and evacuation case of a municipal key project is handed over to the male and female protagonists to execute. However, the case hides a big conspiracy. The developer Bois Cheng Killen, played by Zhang Zilin, illegally occupied several nail households in the village and forcibly vacated them by corrupting the mayor's secretary and coercing the mayor, so as to achieve his commercial goal of rapid development. The male protagonist Ki Ling keenly discovered the problem, and in the gradual investigation, he found that the cause of his parents' death was not an accident, and finally joined the special task force to take down the other party. This story has something. Second, the growing character. How to make the story of the executive judge down to earth and beautiful. The play chose a special angle newcomers to the post. The male protagonist Ki Lin, played by Luo Jin, lost both his parents since childhood and was raised by his aunt's family. When he grew up, he became a criminal judge in King Gang and was later transferred to the Execution Bureau. In this way, he joined Chu Yun's team. In one execution case after another, this pair of happy enemies used wisdom and skills to successfully complete the task every time growing into an excellent executive officer and gaining Zhu Yun's admiration. The series chose to take the audience to understand the group of executive judges from the perspective of the new executive judge Qi Lin, and then from his perspective, show the various difficulties and obstacles in a series of executive cases, as well as the bad phenomenon that the person being executed refused to perform by hiding and transferring property. Finally, through his battle of wits and courage with the person being executed, and finally successfully concluded the case, the audience can truly understand why execution is difficult. Third, the execution cases that hit the reality. 
The story revolves around the execution case, and there must be many conflicts in realistic portrayals. For example, the execution cases such as luxury car hit and run case, shared bicycle deposit case, college student loan case, and 10,000 tons of grain execution case in the play are all very representative. There are family stories where brothers and sisters are at odds because of their father's partiality. There are life and death crises caused by simple car accidents, there are kind-hearted people who half-heartedly lead everyone to speculate in stocks, but become the person being executed, and the game between love and law, there are also warm stories about the execution bureau working together to fight wits and courage with evil forces and overcome all difficulties to maintain fairness and justice. The reason why the story is established and true is not curiosity. The reason is that the humanity here is three-dimensional enough. The execution process is a process of overlapping, entanglement and struggle of real problems, and the execution bureau is the front line of justice and human heart. The male protagonist who just arrived at the execution bureau faces many difficulties. How to solve the difficulty of execution and the contradictions among the masses contained in the case will attract the audience to keep following. 2. Cast, Luo Jin leads, many old acquaintances, and a gathering of drama bones. Of course, if this drama wants to be outstanding, the actors can't drag their feet. Looking at the cast list, they are all old acquaintances with high drama bones. The first one is Luo Jin. In the play, Luo Jin plays the male protagonist Ki Lin, who is the absolute core role of the whole play. The story unfolds from his perspective. In the trailer alone, many highlights can be seen. In recent years, director and Jian has cooperated with Luo Jin many times, and in Jia and Jiang Shan such duo Jiao have achieved good results. Luo Jin is a rare actor who can successfully transform from playing ancient idols to acting in dramas. His ability to carry dramas in recent years is obvious to all. He has performed well in Home, Happiness to 10,000 Homes, The Long River of the World and Reconnaissance Heroes. In the trailer, he is dressed in a judge's robe and looks very upright. His appearance and temperament are very suitable. The role of Ki Lin also has a lot to play. This is not a traditional execution judge. As a newcomer, his thinking and way of doing things in the execution bureau are niche. He not only cares whether the applicant's demands can be met, but also whether the applicant and the person being executed can return to normal life after the execution. Luo Jin plays a drama, and a key to his success lies in his uprightness and delicate performance. It is actually very difficult to play an absolutely positive role. The audience must believe it. As soon as Luo Jin appears, it looks right. When he plays, the drama is halfway stable. The second place is Yang Zishan. The female lead who partners with Luo Jin is Yang Zishan. Yang Zishan, who rose rapidly with films such as Back to 20, was one silent. But in recent years, she has found her place in the Chinese drama market again. In the first half of this year alone, she has launched Riding the Wind and Waves in City in the City, and her performance is also good. She is not the first in terms of appearance, acting skills, and audience popularity in Chinese dramas, but she is very superior in combination. It is not difficult to play the role of the female protagonist Chu Yun, who is rigorous and serious, and has a clear distinction between black and white. The difficulty lies in how to perform new ideas. The third place, Zhang Zilin. Since the spy drama Before Dawn, Zhang Zilin has been good at playing complex characters with high intelligence. The public security chief Ma Yunbo in Ice Breaking Operation and Li Yixuan in Chang Feng do are all such roles. This time, he plays Ching Kilin, who should be the biggest opponent of the male protagonist in the play. The sentence a good dog knows that it will only recognize one master forever makes people's backs cold. He is good at dancing with long sleeves and maneuvering around. He successfully dragged a group of people into the water, but was eventually defeated by the male protagonist. Give this role to him, three words, Bishan. Fourth place, Fang Zibin. Many people are not familiar with this name, but when it comes to Gong Wei's in the world, many people should have an impression. In recent years, from the Great River 3, south to north to self-reflection, this old actor has always played whatever he wants in the role and never made mistakes. In this drama, he will challenge another leadership role, the boss of the heroine in the execution bureau. Watch them take a sip of tea and squint, and the taste is there. Fifth place, Wang Tonghu. Another actor who said that he didn't recognize the name, but said that the role has a picture. CAO Changking and Snow Sword and the old police and police honor are also what they play. He plays the leader of the court and has no worries about acting skills. Sixth place, Serena. 
As a mother professional in Chinese drama, Serena has actually played many mothers in the past two years. This drama finally got rid of the image of a loving mother. This time, she plays the person being executed, picking up a broom and greeting the person being executed. This time, she partnered with another national first-class actor Xiao Jun to play a couple. Grassroots couple, this is not right. 7th place, Zhao Kei and Dong Kefi. The reason for talking about these two together is very simple. Aunt Liu and Dab Ao and celebrating Union Tour are here. In addition, there are six powerful actors such as Ling Jitli, Yun Xia Ocean, Lin Jia Chuan, Liu Xiangjing, Duang Xuan, and Adru O Kuang. This lineup is definitely not week three. Can political and legal dramas become hits? Look at the sense of reality of domestic dramas. From the perspective of type, execution judge is obviously a realistic theme and main theme political and legal drama. Political and legal dramas are a tough bone in domestic dramas, but we also need such works to reflect the respectable frontline staff of the execution judges. The main theme works that used to be highbrow and few people are now the password for hits. Themes that did not have ratings in the past are now hits. So the subject matter is not the problem, the problem is how to shoot. The story of the execution bureau opening up the last mile of fairness and justice has its own sense of reality and conflict, and is also closely related to the lives of ordinary people. With the support of CCTV and Luo Jin's popularity with the audience, it will be very good if it is well filmed, and it will not be difficult to become a hit. The representative works of the director of this drama, and Jian, are anti-duo, the North Wind Blows, and Jia, etc. He is good at filming realistic themes, the quality of his works is quite stable, and the characters in his works are also known for their flesh and blood. Judging from the special edition of the finale, the whole drama has about 190 large scenes and 380 small scenes, of which the construction area of the main scene is about 6,000 square meters. In addition, with the support and guidance of the Supreme Court, the crew selected Quanzhou, Fujian, a filming location that is in line with the development of the plot, and cleverly used the old streets of Quan's how to create a humane main scene. All kinds of hardware are not bad. But the key to success or failure, in my opinion, is still the sense of reality. In the past few years, a series of excellent political and legal dramas with a sense of reality have emerged in Chinese dramas, such as The Storm, The Bottom Line, and The Tour Procuratorate. Reality is the confidence of these hits. Therefore, the dramas shot are realistic and convincing, and the audience loves to watch such serious dramas. I think what execution judge needs is to film the kind of reality and dramatic tension that comes from reality. When the story reflects reality, the audience will naturally linger. What is more meaningful than ratings and popularity is to let the audience understand the group of execution judges, and know and understand the law in the story. For example, we must not only protect the rights of applicants, but also the rights of the person being executed. Legal judgments are only justice in the sense of words. To make the judgment obtain factual justice, that is, the people can see and touch the material results, this is the meaning of the existence of execution judges. A real reality-themed drama should act on reality. Success or failure depends on execution. Next news. The premiere is coming. CCTV's 40-episode drama is airborne, and the actors are more fierce than each other. The King Bomb is finally here. I thought the story of Rose would be a high-quality hit. But unexpectedly, the plot is already halfway through, and the most conflicting part has ended, and the ratings peak is only 1.7%. Such a result may be a dazzling result for other domestic dramas, but for the story of Rose, it is far from expectations. Not only because of the presence of Liu Yifri, Tong Dui and other powerful actors, the setting of the story is also completely different from previous dramas of the same type. Even the director is Wang Jun, who has shot many hit dramas such as Little Joy and Xiao Min's Family. Whether it is for the actors or the main creators of the plot, the story of Rose should retain a large number of viewers. But it is a bit disappointing that such a CCTV drama that looks like a hit in every way has not broken two ratings. But don't worry, the story of Rose is about to end and CCTV has another 40-episode drama, which will be aired on June 27th. The actors are more ruthless than each other, and the King Bomb is finally here. 1. When the executive judge encounters a deadbeat, how to achieve the last mile of fairness and justice. It is no exaggeration to say that executive judge is a drama that gives people goosebumps just by watching the trailer. It is not only because these conflicts and contradictions are too real but also because the 16 dense cases have fully described the complexity of human nature. In the latest version of the trailer, 
Chi Lin, played by Luo Jin, who was assigned to the execution bureau as a quota judge, encountered an unreasonable deadbeat while executing his work with his colleagues. The other party took a chainsaw and chopped directly at them. After being controlled, he still did not give up and threw the chainsaw directly at Qi Lin. Then there was an old couple who said that they would not let Qi Lin and Chu Yun, played by Yang Zixin, touch their house. They quarreled and fought with law enforcement officers on the street, threatening to die if they touched her house. There was also a painter who did not want his paintings to be used as a tool to pay off debts, so he did not hesitate to cripple his hand in front of everyone. Some are evil forces that are obsessed with money. If you owe money and do not pay it back, even if you give money, you will throw the money into a boiling hot pot and let the other party fish it out with bare hands. In the play, there are also people who rent houses all over the country to touch porcelain. They paid three months rent and wanted to live for three years. Even the judge couldn't help but say that he was a weird flower. Although some people are executed, they are also victims. In the process of debt collection, some of them were injured in their hands, and some were crippled in an arm. All kinds of problems have occurred. And these executive judges are sometimes threatened by evil forces. While driving, they are suddenly hit by a doll with blood on it. When dealing with the problem of nail households, Qi Lin, who entered the sea of fire alone, was directly blown away, not to mention the face-to-face -face confrontation with evil forces. It can be said that all kinds of problems have been encountered. But what these executive judges have to do is to guard the last kilometer of fairness and justice. They understand that some of these deadbeats are victimized by others, the borrowers are maliciously framed by lenders, and some are just bad guys. Judges have seen all kinds of human nature, and they constantly change their working styles and methods when facing all kinds of people. There is a profound sentence in the trailer, legal judgments are only legal justice in the literal sense. To make the judgment obtain factual justice, that is, the people can see and touch the material results, this is the meaning of the existence of the executive judge. This drama not only talks about the nature of the work of the executive judge group, but also about their kindness and fairness and justice. Such an industry drama will definitely bring the audience a hearty experience of chasing dramas. Second, Luo Jin plus Yang Zishan, all the supporting roles are actors, which can be called the ceiling of the camp. The cast is also one of the first mover advantages of this drama. Everyone is a familiar powerful actor. When combined together, it can be called the ceiling of the camp. First, Luo Jin. The actor who plays the male protagonist Qi Lin in the play is Luo Jin, who has successively starred in Happiness to Wanjia and Anjia. If you saw Luo Jin in this drama five years ago, you might still be a little worried, after all, he first became famous with idol dramas. But since he played the main theme drama The Beautiful Country, the industry drama home and the rural drama Happiness to 10,000 Homes, it is enough to make people look at his acting skills with new eyes. This time, Luo Jin, who plays the executive judge, is dressed in a work uniform and full of justice, which is enough to make people fully immerse in the role. Luo Jin takes the lead, I believe him. Second place, Yang Zishan. But looking at Yang Zishan's performance in the trailer, you can see that she will play the image of a vigorous and resolute female judge. When Qi Lin, played by Luo Jin, first arrived at the execution bureau, he habitually handled cases in his own way and acted on his own, so Chu Yun reported him back to the criminal court. Luo Jin's aura seems to be very strong, and the veins on his forehead and temples burst out when he was excited. But Yang Zishan was not at all inferior. She said, as long as you work in the execution bureau for one day, you have to listen to me. It was resounding and full of oppression. It was this momentum that made people believe that she could firmly establish the role. Third place, Ding Jitli. When I saw Ding Jitli, I couldn't help but sweat for Kilin played by Luo Jin. How did they meet again? When the two worked together on Anjia before, Ding Jitli played the mother of the heroine, which made Luo Jin, the male lead, have a big head. This time, one is the executing judge and the other is the person being executed, and they are on the opposite side again. Ding Jitli, who is good at playing villains, can't be guessed just by looking at her eyes. This time is no exception, and she still looks fierce. Fourth place, Duong Xuan. Duong Xuan's interpretation of the image of an artist is also very convincing. After all, she is beautiful and has a literary and artistic atmosphere. She is dressed very delicately in the play, which is very suitable. However, the role played by Duong Xuan is not only glamorous. When she would rather cripple her hands than paint for others, her gnashing teeth shows her determination to never compromise. Fifth place, Lin Jiachuan. This time, it is not Lama who works in the vegetable market, 
but brother Dao. In executing judge, Lin Jiachuan plays a small vendor with messy hair and sloppy clothes. He also broke up with his wife in the play. From a social brother to a small person at the bottom, I can't help but want to see Lin Jiachuan's subversion. Conclusion A good script is the key to making the audience want to chase the drama, and a group of well-known and powerful actors can add a lot of points to the drama. Executing judges also on CCTV 8, with a strong ratings-based support. It is boldly predicted that the ratings of this drama will exceed 2% in its first broadcast. So, do you think this drama starring Luo Jin and Yang Zishan is promising? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,